manufacturing may be on its way to a comeback in America thanks to abundant shale gas resources, especially right here in our region. PricewaterhouseCoopers says shale gas may reduce manufacturing costs by more than $11.5 billion by 2025, making it more economical to make things here at home instead of overseas. It's already beginning to happen in the chemical industry, where natural gas is used as a feedstock. So what's all this mean right here in our region? Well, Bob McCutcheon is the U.S. industrial products leader for Price Oil Waterhouse Coopers. He's also the managing partner here in Pittsburgh. Good to see you. Welcome. Oh, thanks, Bill. Glad to be here. So what made you decide to take a look at the impact uh, of shale gas on, on manufacturing? Well, I'm, being the managing partner of the office here in Pittsburgh, I've been watching uh, developments here in the region. Marcella Shale is a big story, and it's had a lot of impact on our clients. And you know, over time, the story seems to be developing from not just an energy sector story, but a larger manufacturing story. And a lot of our clients were asking, you know, what does this mean to our business? What does it mean strategically for us? And so we, we took the opportunity to, to start to ask ourselves those questions and, and do a little bit of the research and the homework. Um, and, and it's clear from, from the output um, that we got from this, this report that the story is much larger. It is much larger than energy. Um, the, the opportunities that exist for shale to provide feedstock into, say, the chemicals industry, uh, the products and services that can be sold from a manufacturing sector into the energy sector. Um, you know, metals is a good example. I think three, three subsectors that really seem to have the greatest potential opportunity are chemicals, metals, and industrial manufacturing. Uh, that, uh, that opportunity uh, is attracting investment into the region. It's attracting investment nationally. Um, and we tried to, to do a, 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 come up with an objective uh, quantifiable way of, of understanding what that impact could be. Well, it's been an interesting, as you say, an interesting debate because so much of the focus has been on the drilling and it's on getting the gas out of the ground and the prospect is we'll get it out of the ground, they'll put it in a pipe and off it'll go and that, that'll be the extent of the benefit to the region. What you're saying is because of this other type of development that can happen, this can really have a profound longer lasting effect. Yeah, the, the, the opportunity for long-term investment, if we think about a, a large-scale abundant affordable source of energy, um, the, uh, the opportunity to see that on a long-term basis and make long-term investment decisions is very attractive to the manufacturing sector. So while there's a lot of activity in terms of the drilling activity on the energy side, that longer-term opportunity uh, is really where we see uh, the greater effect. It's the supply chain further down and the demand that's created from all of this activity for that gas. And, and do you, have you begun to see this happening? Are companies are actually making real business decisions now that, are, that seem to be indicating this is real? Yeah, there are. I mean, there are a number of companies who have already announced major expansion projects or new investments uh, nationally, um, often close to the shale gas itself. And the chemicals industry, I think, is a good one. Um, you have the metal sector who um, seems to be expanding operations if we think about just tubular product being supplied into the energy sector. Um, there's a lot of expansion, a lot of investment, and I think we're only just beginning uh, to scratch the surface here because not all of that gas is, is readily available to the market today. There's still infrastructure that needs to be built out. But if what we're seeing today is any indication of what the future holds, the numbers could be pretty staggering. So when you roll it up, I understand you're doing some modeling. I mean, how big an impact are we talking yeah, about it, over time? It's quite eye-opening. Actually, the, we, uh, when we did the modeling, there were two key statistics that I think really um, got some attention. The first is that the manufacturing sector nationally could save up to $11.6 billion by 2025. $11.6 billion. $11.6 yeah. billion. And, you know, just the, the energy, you know, the affordable energy alone is probably the biggest um, uh, part of that $11.6 billion. But the other number is, you know, that attraction of investment, the expansion, and even bringing jobs maybe back from overseas as a result of that investment could create up to a million jobs by 2025 as well. And, and that's a na for the nation as that's a national. That's a national uh, number. We weren't able to take those numbers and quantify it down to the regional level, so we tried to do it on a national basis. But nonetheless, we seem to be here in our region at, at the real epicenter of a lot of this with, with the shale gas resources then also our, our heritage and manufacturing. It could have a big impact around here. Yeah, it, it certainly seems that it would be important for this part of, of the country. This region is, is sitting in the middle of, of a major, probably the largest shale play. Uh, nationally, and so there's there's a lot of opportunity here. I think nationally, um, you'll see benefits to manufacturing regardless of, of the various regions, mm -hmm. but 
it's it's logical to us that a lot of that activity is going to center close to where the gas is you know just from an infrastructure transportation perspective you're most likely going to see the largest investment close to the gas so that would make sense that this part of the country would benefit significantly and then potentially it, it goes on and on for years and years that's once right. those kinds of investments get get made here yeah and and that's really the key is you know to have confidence from a business perspective to have confidence to make a long-term investment like that to sink hundreds of millions, even billions of dollars into facilities, you have to have some confidence that that, that source of energy is going to be stable and, and available for a long period of time. You know, there's enough there, and I think there's enough confidence now to be able to make those types of investment decisions. Pretty impressive. Uh, if folks want to get a copy of the report, I assume it's on your website? At pwc.com. Um, it is available electronically. All right. Very good. Bob McCutcheon, thanks so much. Great perspective on what could be ahead for our region. Appreciate Great. it. Thank you. Yeah. And we'll be back in a minute uh, with more of our region's business. Stay with us.